Well, folks like Ray LaMontagne and others have been troubled and worried about things since the day they were born. This is Pastor Mike asking you to consider this. Think about the days of Jesus. Think about the situation the disciples were in when Jesus himself basically said to them, I'm going away, I'm going to die, and you're going to be all alone. That must have been very troubling. It must have been troubling from the standpoint of they'd placed everything. All of their chips have been played on Jesus Christ. They knew him as their master, their teacher, their mentor their Lord, but they were troubled. How could these things be? Prophecies left unfulfilled? Jesus is the one that's supposed to take care of all of this. And yet in the midst of their trouble, in the midst of their discouragement, with this bombshell dropped upon their lives, their future completely being in tatters, Jesus looks at them with eyes of love. Gently and lovingly, he reminds them, let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. In other words, Jesus is saying to them, look, I haven't brought you this far just to abandon you and leave you to your own designs. Trust me. Trust me. That's what God wants us to do with all of these things, especially in these days of global unrest, uncertainty, markets being up and down, jobs being insecure finances being held up because of partisan politics and petty personalities. So many things cause us to be troubled. But Jesus said, let not your hearts be troubled. He alone declares the fact that he is the answer. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father but by me. Don't be troubled. Life is filled with trouble. Job himself reminds us that man is born for trouble as sure as the sparks fly upward. In other words, the minute we take our first breath, trouble begins to follow us, and it'll follow each and every one of us all the rest of our lives. That's something that you can count on. But despite the trouble that life brings, we need to understand that God can always be trusted. When we face troubles and we don't understand, think about the things that you do understand. We do understand that God loves us. God has an incredible plan that is unfolding in our lives, and that none of these things that have happened globally and to each and every one of us has taken him by surprise at all. Everything has lovingly been sifted through the hands of his sovereignty and his goodness, and ultimately, God is going to use these things for his purposes, to raise up his church and to draw us closer to him. Are you troubled today? Don't be troubled. My dear friend Carl, who's gone home to be with the Lord, used to say, Lord, I may not understand you, but I trust you. May that be your goal today. This is Pastor Mike saying, consider these things and let not your hearts be troubled. Believe me. It didn't originate with Sean Hannity. Have a good day.